Do these viral camera hacks actually work in 2024? Well, let's find out. The first one I'm gonna try is the saran wrap and highlighter hack. In these videos, they get some saran wrap and wrap it around the lens and then they color it in with highlighter. This is supposed to give you like a filmy, dreamy kind of look. So let's find out if it works. I'm also gonna try with some different colors to see what kind of looks we can get. Okay, already I can tell this is gonna be pretty insane. Yeah, the lamp in the background is looking really nice as well. Let's see if gold is any good. Ooh, okay. Okay, this one I can tell is really strong. <laughs> so this one might be a no-no, but we'll try. Yeah, just uh, this one might be a no. Well, I'll see how it comes out in the edit, but yeah. I was actually really pleasantly surprised with this one. I was not expecting it to look as good as it did at all. That last one though was a little bit questionable. Not really sure about that one. If you are enjoying this video, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Also follow me on Instagram because I post all sorts of behind the scenes stuff. And it's been really nice chatting to a few of you on there as well. Up next, we have the cloth slider or rag slider or towel slider. You know what I mean? I actually found that I've used this one quite a few times. I find that if you add a bit of weight to the towel by adding books or something like that, it makes pulling it a lot more smoother. For this one, all you need is a rag or a towel or a cloth or something like that. And maybe some books, depending on how heavy your camera is. Okay, so we've got this light bouncing onto this and I've got the towel and I'm using a New York photo book <laughs> to try and angle it right. And I'm literally shooting in slow motion and I'm just going to try and basically move this around to try and get like a really smooth shot. This one worked really well. Like I said at the beginning, I have done this one quite a few times. It definitely does help though if you add a little bit of extra weight. Does flipping your lens over give you a macro effect? This one was really interesting. What you do is you remove your lens, then flip it over and hold it up against your camera sensor. Please be careful. So for this one, all you need to do is just take your lens off and turn it around, place it gently against your sensor, and this should give you a macro shot. For this one, I thought we could test it on a chopping board. So this is just the normal lens. Pretty good. And let's flip it around. Yikes, I don't like this at all. Oh my god, it works. Wow, wow, that's so sick. I actually wasn't expecting that one to work. I'm not gonna lie. What else can we try it on? Try it on a belt? Whoa, that's so cool. Wow, that is, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually a bit blown away by that one. I didn't actually expect that one to work like as good as it does. This one also worked really, really well, but obviously there are some downsides like your sensor being exposed to the air and also the fact that you could scratch your lens. I don't know, it's kind of something that I wouldn't do, but it did work. Next, we have the belt stabilizer. Now we all love that buttery smooth stabilized footage, but not all of us can afford expensive gimbals. So for this one, you tie a belt around your camera and it's supposed to give you really stable shots. Okay, moment of truth. I don't, can't say I like this, I'm not gonna lie. I'm shooting in slow motion, which should help. Yeah, I really hated this one. I was not a fan of it at all. It felt like no matter what I did, the camera was just shaking uncontrollably. I even shot in slow motion as well, but the footage, in my opinion, just doesn't look that good at all. It felt like the only way I could get it to work was going forwards and backwards. Going side to side was just a nightmare, and uh, let me know if I was doing it wrong, but it just wasn't working for me at all. The next one I'm really intrigued about, it's the camera plastic bag flash. That's not what it's called. I mean, I've just made that up, but like, that's kind of what it is. So the idea is you put a white plastic bag over your flash and it's supposed to diffuse the light and make it look really professional. This one's a little bit more tricky because I don't actually have a flash on my camera. So I'm using the Amaran on a flash setting. 
and I'm going to try and catch the images as the flash is, is going. So this one's going to be a bit tricky. <laughs> This one was okay, but I mean, it just seemed a little bit pointless. I actually prefer the flash shots without the plastic bag than with. You'll definitely get a much better result if you bounce the flash off of something white. That'll definitely make it look a lot better than what I just did. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it would be quite interesting to do something like this. I got these camera hacks from various different Instagram pages. A couple of them were from Peter McKinnon's camera hacks video, which I'll link in the description below. Definitely let me know in the comments section if you've used any of these or if there are any that you think I should try. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you found it enjoyable. Have a great rest of your day or evening and I'll see you in the next video.